Hi everyone and welcome to Explain in 3 Minutes, a series by NLB where we break down complex concepts into bite-sized takeaways. And in this episode, we're exploring ChatGPT. And with me is Marvin, an experienced ChatGPT user. Hi, I know. So Marvin, mm. what is ChatGPT? So think of ChatGPT as a super smart computer. It has been trained on a vast amount of information so it can be useful in various ways from retrieving information to creative writing. So the way you use it is by asking questions or giving it prompts and ChatGPT will respond with an answer. That's so cool. Can you tell me more about how ChatGPT works? Imagine you have a friend who's a really dedicated researcher and a walking encyclopedia. ChatGPT is just like this knowledgeable friend in digital form. Just like how your friend learns information over time, ChatGPT's training consists of analyzing and processing large amounts of information from diverse sources on the internet. So when you ask ChatGPT a question or you give it a prompt, it generates a response based on patterns that it has learned from its training data. Much like how your friend draws upon their knowledge to craft a personalized and informed reply to your questions. You know what? I think it'll be more fun if I show you how ChatGBT works. So here at the bottom, we can enter a question or prompt. ChatGBT will then analyze our query and give us a response. For example, what is the capital of France? Oh wow, that's fast. That was a very basic query. Mm -hmm. Let's try something more advanced. Plan me a six-day itinerary in Sydney. Okay. Oh wow, that's detailed and it has like landmarks, suggested activities. The most incredible part about ChatGBT is how it appears to also simulate human creativity. Here's an example. Come up with a short story of 50 words about an unexpected adventure in a magical forest. And there we go. So you can see how it can respond with something that's seemingly unique and creative at first glance. That's amazing. So does ChatGPT have limitations or weaknesses? Oh yes, this technology is an incredible leap forward, but it certainly has its limitations. Firstly, it lacks real understanding of the world like us humans do, as it only mimics learned patterns. For example, it is not always accurate and it might make up nonsensical answers. <laughs> It also struggles with true originality as all of its responses are generated from existing training data. Finally, ChatGBT is not an information search tool and can make factual errors. Hence, it is important to do your own fact checks against ChatGBT's answers. As with most technology, the best way for us to learn about it is to try it out for ourselves. ChatGBT can be fun and helpful as long as we keep its limitations in mind. That's really insightful. One last question. Where can our viewers learn more about generic AI and ChatGPT? Good question. You can check out NLB's learning package on this topic by scanning this QR code. Thanks for sharing your thoughts. And that's all for this episode of Explain in 3 Minutes. You can also check out the links in the description for more resources. See you next time. Bye.